welcome everyone, this is Master Joke, also Master Joke 75 on Instagram. I'm at Lagerland, Dubai, it's my last day, so I thought I'd uh, have a little look around the shops. Let your eyes be your guide. This is basically the breakfast I've eaten every morning. <laughs> only, I only managed six mornings, but proper, decent, full English. The best fit full English I've ever had outside of um, the UK. They've got a proper egg station. And also, because it, it was our last day, for some reason, they put us up in the posh restaurant, which was really nice. Uh, chicken and beef sausages and turkey bacon. Absolutely loved it. This, obviously, as I mentioned in my previous vlogs, I would have done more filming, but very difficult to do when, you, when you're when you pushing a wheelchair and you're uh, living in limbo. So due to, <laughs> due to the fiasco, and I'll be honest, it, there was a bit of a fiasco because, <laughs> because last night um, when we were trying to sleep, I think I might have touched on this on the previous vlog, but last night we are all getting ready for our last day thinking we're going to... Um, now we're leaving on in the early hours of uh, Monday morning, and, and my my wife checks the emails from the insurance company, and we're we're on a plane, uh, Emirates plane to uh, Stansted, so, and our car's in Gatwick. I mean, you honestly, you you just couldn't make it up. But the hotel, <laughs> putting that aside, Lapta Hotel. Honestly, it's it's a different it's a different level. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone was brilliant. The food was beautiful. Uh, the staff were just great. They, they 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 treated us so well, especially with my son breaking his leg. So highly recommended. I really want to come back here. Um, but as we're not, um, I mean, we're not we're we're not not planning to leave the hotel because uh, because in, in effect it's, a, it's the Sunday. It's our last day. We're we're, we're not planning to leave till ten p.m. So we've got like a full day here. So, so our driver, who I mentioned in the last vlog, who was absolutely brilliant with my son, uh, we're, we're currently in the uh, disabled buggy, and he's taken us uh, all the way to, uh, to Legoland uh, via, via, <laughs> via Riverland. Now, uh, that might, my, re my recommendation is to uh, always take a buggy. Don't walk anywhere. It's just, uh, I, I just think it's safer that way. I wish I wish we'd taken a buggy everywhere. <laughs> I might have lasted the full two weeks, but it is it is what it is. So um, yeah, on our way to Legoland. So we went to we went to Legoland a couple of times, um, and and I've I've got to say it's honestly it's it's really really good. I mean, you know, I'm I'm sort of I'm over the disappointment that um, <laughs> that my son broke his leg on day one. And um, and we had um, unlimited um, hopper <laughs> hopper tickets, so we could go to any of the uh, any of the theme parks, including <laughs> including the Legoland water park, which uh, which never happened. So, but it's you know it's it's one of those things you've you've kind of um, you've got to make the most of it, and I, and I think we did. I mean, it, it was tough. It was tough. Um, uh, <laughs> spending every day in limbo, not knowing when you were going to go home. Very surprised it ended up taking, uh, well, f like five five days before um, the insurance company and the hospital got their act together and were able to agree that we could, um, you know, we could fly home. So, uh, so I've never been in this situation before. Oh look, there's a, that's a Bollywood there in the distance, which closed literally a couple of weeks before we. Uh, before we got to Dubai, although it's open for it's open for certain events, so I mean I would like to go in there. Um, it does look like a, it is a very beautiful looking looking park. So maybe <laughs> maybe one day because I'd I would definitely be back. Uh, you know the the broken leg hasn't put me off, but it's made me more <laughs> it's made me more mindful to be to be aware of um, well just be aware of where you're going. Uh, for, I mean, for example, looking at what happened in um, Dubai, I kind of thought, what <laughs> what would have happened if we had made it to Senegal in relation to, um, you know, hospitals and uh, medical treatment? So, 
I've, I'm, yeah, I've definitely, um, I've, 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 I'm definitely more mindful. Also, more mindful of um, uh, <laughs> different laws. So there are different laws in Dubai, and also the way, <laughs> the way you report things, such as, um, <laughs> such as negligence and crimes. It's, 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 it's good to be aware of your surroundings. But here we are, Legoland Dubai. And I've got to say, you know, I mean, there wasn't, um, <laughs> but ever, again, everyone was great, as always in Legoland. Everyone, everyone was great. One of the first things they said to us as we went through security was, um, uh, you can't go with anything. So, <laughs> so we, no, we, we were aware of that. So that's why I spent more, most, uh, most time, most of our time in the shops, you know, trying to, <laughs> trying to spend the old, uh, the old spending money but um yeah no it was it, it was really good it they, they had some great stuff there i mean the house from up i really like that they, and they've got loads of loads of absolutely loads of disney stuff including the um little mermaid from the new the new um the new woke version <laughs> the new woke version but look uh, nah, whatever i mean I, I i think it looks good i, I wouldn't mind watching it I, I do like i do like a disney movie on a su- sunday afternoon there's Groot. i really fancy that Groot. i like the um i like the, the cassette he comes with i didn't really know much about the character I, 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 like me and my son we only started watching well my son had seen it before but i only started watching guardians of the galaxy when the new movie came out so that, i think that's um i think that's really uh really good and i'm um, I do need to see the one that was, um, the, well, the latest one that was in the cinema recently. Loads of Batman stuff. No 1989 Batmobile for Chuffy Far. <laughs> but no, they had literally loads of Batman stuff. I mean, this was a really, really well-stocked um, shop. Even, I, I think, I think it, personally think it was better than the one in um, uh, Legoland Windsor. Loads of brickheads. Like, my son loves, I mean, I, look, I don't really see the attraction myself but my son and his friends they love the uh the lego brickheads uh the only one i was interested in getting uh this this was this was uh, last year sometime was the spice girls brickheads because there's a little bit of nostalgia there and i think they were selling it cheap on the website for like 29.99 but and this is the uh, stranger things which i um I, I got my son for for christmas sold out everywhere now they had loads of it um, and I remember even before I'd watched Stranger Things, because it was my son who introduced me to it, um, I remember seeing a Stranger Things house in Smith Toys, the upside down house, and oh, I wish I'd bought it. And here's the Daily Bugle. Again, a very lovely, beautiful set. And I saw that in Smith's Toys. Um, I, I saw it in, um, what was it? I saw, I saw the, that was the highlight for me. My son, my son wanted to go and see Across the, the Spider-Verse. Um, not my cup of tea. It was all right. Not <laughs> it wasn't really my cup of tea. A bit, a bit. Um, I don't know. A bit. I don't know what the guy who who wrote the story was, was thinking. He must have been on something, if I'm honest. But the highlight of the whole movie was when you saw the Lego. No spoilers. But when you saw the Lego Spider Man and the Daily Bugle, the actual Lego set. So that was a highlight for me. Uh, not highly recommended, but it's because I'm old, I suppose. Loads of Harry Potter stuff, and look, I look, look, I I do like the Harry Potter sets, like the Ministry of Magic, the Hogwarts Castle, and I really like the Hogwarts Express. And they've got this new new Hogwarts Express now, this new kind of special version, special edition. Never seen it. <laughs> I've never seen it. Definitely let me know if you think I should uh, should watch it because um, when I've gone to Universal Studios in Florida completely wasted on me so much so diagonally <laughs> i didn't even know it was there i missed out on a whole part of the park but um oh look at this lego spaceman the um this came through with this uh, lego minifigure book i think it worked out like 40 pounds i'd love that orange retro lego minifigure but it's not worth 40 pounds but i'm sure it's a good read but i've never seen that book before but yeah they had some great stuff in the lego store because as i mentioned <laughs> it wasn't a lot that we could do with uh, with my son and his broken leg, all the Indiana Jones sets, which look absolutely amazing. I mean, um, Temple of Doom's my favourite Indiana Jones movie. Still haven't seen the uh, Indiana Jones Five. Me and my son are going to well, we're going to see it when, once his um, once his leg 
is is better. I've got to get that Lego spaceship. I, I dropped enough hints last year to my wife, but she still didn't buy it for me for Christmas. Love the space shuttle. Um, disappointed not to see a Saturn V or Saturn V, as I used to call it when I was little, um, which I did see at Legoland <laughs> Windsor. I think it was 110 pounds, and I never I never picked it up. So I should have picked it up, and that's one of the things you've got to. Uh, that's what you, that's what you got to do when you see something and you want it. You got to pick it up because it's probably not going to be there again. My wife taught me that, but oh, the Lego Castle was amazing. But no, really, really good stuff. Also, they had all like the Christmas sets. So the Christmas sets, which are usually um, you see it in the Lego store, they you, you know they they're out of stock by um, you know by the middle of February because um, they've got all their Valentine stuff in. But they had everything there, so definitely highly recommended. The best store I've been in, but. As I've mentioned, our plan was that we, we were going to be going to the the city. Um, we were going to be going to some um, malls and, and shops. And I think oh, that the uh, the biggest shopping mall in, in, in the world is, is in Dubai. We were going to go there. That had a Lego store. So I was looking forward to uh, to popping in there. But, you know, it, it, it didn't happen. But it will happen again. We will, we will come back here, definitely. Because, honestly, this... this this place, I mean, I'd, I'd never, I'd never thought about going to Dubai for for a holiday. I'd, I'd only, I'd only, um, I'd only been to Dubai when I was, uh, you know, changing flights to get to Australia. That was back in two thousand and nine. But honestly, I, this place is so nice, and the people are so nice as well. Um, although I've got to be honest, I think. One of the, I mean, I mean, I did. There were there were some um, there were some British people here. I wouldn't say there was loads of British people, but I think a lot of it, if I'm honest, because I you know I don't drink anymore, um, and there's there's different rules in relation to drinking, and I think that probably puts a lot of the a lot of the, the British off the fact that I mean you can get alcohol, but alcohol is quite expensive and. Um, it can be frowned upon, so maybe that, <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's the reason why I enjoyed it so much. There was no chavs, <laughs> but <laughs> the, the, honestly, the, the sets here were great, and also it's very important to um, you got to stay cool. So um, because it is so hot, and we we went out um, <laughs> the hottest part of the day. I look at that T-shirt. I bought that. You gotta buy a souvenir. I bought that T-shirt. Really, really good merch here. Um, but yeah, you had to you had to keep popping into like buildings and and places. <laughs> but I bought that baseball cap as well. My son, my son got the red one, and I got the blue one. Definitely check out my um, my my uh, my Dubai um, haul video. I bought, <laughs> me and my son bought that T-shirt as well. Because uh, I, yeah, I bought loads of stuff. But as I said, there was I'd, I'd planned to spend my money on. Um, other bits and pieces but you know it's you've got to make the, the the most of it you you know it was a bad situation um you know you, you've 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 just got to get on with it and um and try and make the most of it but th this place here this is the um this is the uh, lego land mini land so they've they've obviously got one of these um which is outside in um legoland florida and also legoland windsor but this <laughs> this place this this actually um, blew me away because this features the like the skyline of Dubai and of course the the Burj Khalifa, which we were gonna we were gonna be <laughs> we were gonna be visiting that because that's where the big um, shopping mall is the biggest shopping mall in the uh, in the world where the Lego store is and we we were gonna be visiting that and um, going right well I I was really looking forward to it going up to the top so was my son. And obviously we can do that because of his um, broken leg. It's, it's. I mean, it's so unfortunate. But um, we'll, we'll, we will definitely be back. This this place is highly recommended, and yeah, I mean, I I, I will definitely be back <laughs> very very soon. Let's let's get my uh, let's get my son sorted out, and then um, we'll we'll arrange another another holiday. Ho hopefully hopefully next year. Because uh, there's so much more I want to I want to see and and do 
and I want to come back to Legoland because my, you know obviously my son couldn't go on anything and um, but one of the good things about Legoland even though he couldn't go on anything there was so much else that he could do and and, I've, and, I've, and, and I'm so glad that we had kind of Legoland to uh, to fall back on because I, d I don't know what I don't know what we would have done without Legoland. Like, I mean, as, as I said, we went here a couple of times. Here's the, uh, here's, the, <laughs> here's the Dubai airport, which is really, really impressive. It is a beautiful airport. Uh, you might have got a glimpse of it in uh, part one <laughs> of my vlog. But we, we only saw it in the dark. We only saw it in the dark. So, um, you know, <laughs> that's, a, that's, another, <laughs> that's another thing that I'd, I'd like to like to see but talking of airports so the insurance company agreed that we will all three of us will be flying home in business class because my son has to keep his leg straight so <laughs> every cloud has a silver lining as they say so yeah never thought i'd ever be uh, i mean to be honest i'm not fussed about business class always been on my wife's bucket list so she's she's quite excited about it but um, yeah, so it's um, so as as I said, so we're 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 leaving at, um, ten. Well, we we've we've got a car um, booked for ten o'clock um, to pick us ten o'clock p.m. to pick us up from the hotel. So we've got time for our final dinner, and um, and then we're going to the uh, hotel. I think the flight's like I think it's two thirty a.m. on the Monday morning, and um, yeah. And we've got full access to the uh, <laughs> to the Emirates Business Lounge, so so it's it's an experience. So I'm 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 looking forward to it, but I'm just sad that our holiday's been cut short. And uh, you know we go, <laughs> but, but we did manage six days. Oh, here's the Petra Jordan. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised there wasn't any Lego Indiana Jones figures. I'd love to visit the real one. My my older brother. Um, he got made redundant from work after years and years of service. So, so as he had time off, he vi he actually um, booked a flight and visited this place on his own. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I'd be able. To, I don't think I'd go that far and visit it on my own. But yeah, no, yeah, he 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 actually um, um, yeah booked a hotel, hired a car, and, and visited the place on his own. I'd, you know, um, but my. <laughs> But yeah, my, my brother is a, uh, yeah, he, he's an experienced traveller. Um, probably going for the old uh, Indiana Jones experience, but no, nah, no, nah, good luck to him. But I, I would like to, to visit there. And then obviously you've got the uh, Hanging Gardens of Babylon. They had some really, really good, um, good Lego buildings here. I mean, all the mini lands I've visited have been good. I mean, this is my third Lego land. But I mean, the, I mean, the Taj Mahal, I mean, proper beautiful architecture but also one of because <laughs> i mentioned it is so hot in dubai and um the the lego mini land is um undercover so it's fully air air conditioned so we, we spent quite a quite a bit of time in here and um yeah it's definitely worth uh, worth checking out but for me i'd have to say that the um the, the thing that i was most impressed with at lego lego mini land was the uh, skyline of Dubai. I mean, the, the buildings, the buildings are breathtaking, but as I said, we only saw, uh, <laughs> we only saw the city in the dark. Um, but honestly, if you, when you see the real buildings, I mean, obviously I wanted, to, I did want to see them in the daylight, which is what we plan to do. But drive, on, on the drive from the airport, when we arrived, the lights and the, 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 the huge, size of, of of the buildings honestly it just it just blew me away it's, it's it's like another i mean the architecture is amazing but it's like another planet honestly it's so futuristic um and to, to actually <laughs> to actually produce all of that in in lego un unbelievable i mean there's the um there, that's the uh um is it the burj al arab the um it's like a, a, a like a hotel I mean, it's like a famous image of, of Dubai. I've, was it uh, was it Portsmouth? I think Portsmouth tried to make their own version <laughs> version of it, like a a poor man's version. But this this is a 
this is absolutely beautiful. And it's like a hotel I opened in 1994. I, I, I would have liked to have, se- to have seen that. Um, as I say, there's, pl- there's plenty of time. We, we will do it one time. Is the, uh, is the ancient pyramids of uh, Egypt. I haven't been to Egypt since, um, <laughs> since that Russian aeroplane got blown up. Um, oh, that was a good few years ago. The three, the three of us went, and I remember uh, we only went for like a week. And I remember walking into, <laughs> walking. Oh, you love my stories. I remember walking, you know, coming off the flight, going into the airport in Egypt. I remember thinking, how comes people are, are, are bringing waters into, you, you know, into the airport? I, I found, I, I found it strange. Um, and and also when we were leaving, people were bringing waters and drinks. Um, onto their flights and I thought how can they do that you're not supposed to bring any liquids following week that um, that Russian aeroplane <laughs> blew up it's not a laughing matter and apparently it was a can of coke that they, they'd hidden the explosives in so um, yeah I've, I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of put off by Egypt for the moment but no my new destination is is Dubai and um, yeah I mean look at it I mean come on it's, you know, this is just the plastic version. This is this is the Lego. Imagine imagine what the real the real version looks like. So, so yeah, def, definitely, definitely gonna <laughs> definitely gonna visit the Burj Khalifa uh, one day. Hopefully, hopefully next year. Hopefully next year, if I can if I can convince my son, I think that's the next thing. Conv- convincing my son that he will have a good time. Uh, and then, um, and then, as I was saying, there, there's not really a lot that my son, my son could actually, could actually do. But he could do the Lego Master Builders. A lot of this stuff, because we visited, um, <laughs> we visited Lego, Lego Land Windsor in the past, and also Lego Land Florida. <laughs> Talking of Lego Land Florida, the last time we went to Lego Land Florida, uh, my last trip, 2019, <laughs> my son had a broken arm. So he couldn't do anything either. <laughs> That's another story. He broke his arm on Mother's Day 2019 from going on, you know, doing stunts on his scooter, literally a week before we were due to fly to Florida. <laughs> That's another story. But yeah, this robot was great. He really, really enjoyed doing this. Um, yeah, I, mean, this, I think we spent like an hour in here. Oh, was that every time I touch it? Hello. Papa, let's get started. What is your name? Wait for my light to turn green. Papa, I win. And then it was time to build some racing cars. Now, um... Me and my son, we always build um, Lego models when we visit Legoland, or even like the you know the big Lego stores when we're on holiday. And uh, <laughs> I take building Lego very seriously. Um, he wanted a race, uh, <laughs> so so let's do it. I, I think we, we again we spent um, we spent over an hour over an hour here building our projects. And um, yeah, I I really enjoyed it. It was just nice to get away from the hotel, um, and I think it was I think it was easier because um, as I said, we, we came to Legoland a couple of times, um, but I think it was easier knowing that um, knowing that we were going home and, and, and things were kind of moving along. So uh, so yeah, I, I think we were a little bit more relaxed. Because um, we had the full day, we weren't going to be picked up till ten o'clock. And look at look at this! This is, this is what I built. Absolutely fantastic! Uh, it's got everything. It's even got a steering wheel. And there's my sons. So. <laughs> let's race! Let's race! Yeah. Whoa! You won. Well, that's broke as well.
Yeah, yeah. I let him win. <laughs> well, of course I did. Uh, I deliberately crashed my car on that last race. <laughs> nah, that was really good. That was that was a that was a nice uh, hour we spent in there. And um, yeah, we always play with a bit of Lego, but at least he had something to do, which uh, which I think was in, was important. I quite fancy going to the um, Lego cinema because um, they had the Flight of the Sky Lion uh, movie. Because uh, obviously we went, we went on the Flight of the Sky Lion ride at Windsor um, earlier this year for my son's birthday. But um, no, he didn't fancy it. There's a Lego astronaut. I, I, I actually filmed this footage for Chuffy Fire. <laughs> but, but yeah, then we went to um, the Kingdom Land. And this is the, uh, this is the Dragon Roller Coaster. This, this is the one and only ride I went on on my own at Legoland. Because I love this. Me and my son, uh, we always... We always go on this at Florida and Windsor, but um, yeah, I mean it's the same same ride. But um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I had to go on at least one one ride, and then they had um, this Lego um, Lego police station, which which again, my son's I, I think he spent about half hour in here, and you can build um, like um, Lego police cars. I think Lego motorbikes as well, and it, there's like interactive areas. There's like police CCTV, and there's like a little police town where you can actually um, play with your uh, your Lego vehicle. So that was nice, nice bit of nice bit of theme in there. I was I I, I haven't noticed any anything like that um, at any of the other Lego lands I've been to. Adventureland, <laughs> Adventureland was great because I really loved the uh, the Lost Kingdom. I didn't go on it, although I, I was tempted. Um, but I, I, this is, I, I do think this, this particular area is better than Windsor and Florida. You really feel like you're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> because you actually are. Uh, and then um, you've got the submarine adventure. Now this, this reminds me a lot of um, Windsor. We could, again, we couldn't go on this. Um, but but we, we were able to go in the back of the ride and um, look at, you know, look at the, uh, the fish and, and sea life, which was nice. Um, my, my son, my son loves puffer fish at the moment, which is a which, which is a bit which is a bit worrying. But yeah, it was it, it was nice, and um, yeah, I mean one of, one of the disappointing things about Legoland Dubai, it hasn't got my favourite ride, which is the Ninjago ride. So much so, they don't even sell, they don't even sell the Ninjago um, Lego model. So I'm glad I picked it up. And then the Lego factory. Um, I've, I'm not sure I've noticed uh, the Lego factory at the other part, probably because I was on the rides. Maybe I just missed it. But this, again, this was a good um, interactive uh, tour of um, how they make Lego bricks. So it's it's the full it's the full um, it's the full workings out. So I thought uh, Chuffa Futter would be interested in uh, in, the, in this process. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's it's got the the, the whole process of how they, uh, how they make a Lego brick from start to finish, including the packaging at the end. Also printing, printing the actual uh, bricks with a, a kind of design as well. And one of the good things is you get to keep um, a Lego brick souvenir right at the end of the, right at the, end of the process. So, so yeah, this, this was interesting. And again, it was something that my son, my son could, could do. So we, did, because of his injury, because um, um, the full tour is you go upstairs and they, there is a lift, but you go upstairs and they, they kind of show you the process up there and they come down and show you the actual factory. So we didn't do the, uh, we didn't do the, uh, the, the full, the full tour, um, which is why we're, um, which is why we're in the factory on our own. But yeah, really, really, really interesting, especially, well, interesting if you like Lego, <laughs> not like my wife if you don't like Lego but yeah I, I, I enjoyed this bit the, the whole process and um, I mean I, I didn't know I didn't know that this is actually how they make Lego bricks themselves with these little little yellow bits and then um, you, you've got the uh, you know what's it they, they check well apparently they check for uh, I didn't see any humans I, saw, I think I saw one human right at the end when he was uh, Given that giving out your, uh, your your free souvenir, but um, apparently apparently they do uh, quality checks. There's a conveyor belt, but yeah, but, but things like this, I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have looked 
looked at this because you spend most of well I say that if I was at Windsor well, well if, I was, if, I, if I was at Windsor you're kind of wanting to get on the rides whereas as I've mentioned before the Dubai Legoland is a a lot quieter but also it's out of season as well because um, because it is such a such a hot time also it's one of the it's the hottest time of the uh, the day when we went but also the uh, the one in Florida uh, again I haven't been since 2019 I've been quite a few times when, when I've visited Florida it, it's the old Cypress Garden but that's that's um, relatively not not quiet but it's relatively kind of well compared to like Disney World or Universal it's relatively calm the only time I've been to Legoland Florida when it's been um, kind of really busy so much so that you had to actually queue to get in the car park was during um, their Star Wars day. When we were there, it was on May the 4th and um, they had like Boba Fett there and, and, and everyone dressed up and um, you, you could get a, was it a Yoda brick? Similar to, similar to these Dubai bricks. Uh, but you, you had to spot the um, R2-D2 in the, um, in, in the different areas like Miniland and places like that. Yeah. This, this is a really, really good park and um, definitely want to come back and I definitely want to see the, um, I, I want to go to the, we wanted to go to the water park as well. I know they've got a water park at the um, Legoland Florida, Florida as well, but uh, yeah, so much stuff that we missed, but we, we made the most of it uh, and we will be back and we, <laughs> I've got my t-shirts and my baseball cap. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. And also check out my video next week when we fly, we, we, we fly um, home business class. So until then, I'll see you in the next one.